Dear students, in this module, we are going to talk about what causes the poverty in Pakistan. So, there are areas of varieties of uh, causes of poverty in Pakistan. Uh, we will be talking about these causes one by one. So, first, we talk about the lack of uh, ed proper education or lack of quality education. The literacy rate in Pakistan is 59%. It means that almost more than 40% of Pakistanis are yet to be literate and people does not, do not have any concept about the modern earning sources. So they, uh, they need to be uh, properly aware about the modern uh, entrepreneurship or entrepreneurial skills should be imparted to them. The most people are unable to adopt uh, technology due to the lack of relevant skills. And then we have the large scale import as compared to export. Uh, only in 2019, Pakistan's imports include 12.4 billion from China, uh, $6.33 billion of uh, worth of, of export from United Arab Emirates. UAE uh, and 2.6 billion from United States, 2.4 billion from Saudi Arabia. So it means that a huge revenue is consumed each year uh, because of the import products that which are very expensive, like the uh, products like uh, IT related products, mobile phones, uh, computers, uh, as well as the modern gadgets. Uh, the latest uh, vehicles and uh, um, different communication uh, uh, communication related commodities. So these large scale imports are having a significant burden on Pakistan's economy that is ultimately producing more poverty in the country. And then we have the lack of political will. It means that political elite is far less aware of the ground realities. They, uh, while making the social policies, they usually adopt an idealistic approach, which is not being really situated with the indigenous realities of the country. The policies are often based on the official surveys, where it is usually portrayed that most of the things are going in the better way. The things are improving, which might not be the case. The ground realities might be different than what the, is being portrayed through the official statistics. And the implementation of these policies also lack the efficiency. Uh, why? Because the, there is no political will. There is no proper engagement of enthusiastic workers. So they half-heartedly try to implement those policies, which ultimately result, usually result on failure. So these policies need to have a strong political will with strong dedication in order to reduce the poverty in Pakistan. And then corruption also makes a, a very important contribution in uh, sustaining rather increasing the poverty in Pakistan as we see that Transparency International 2017 Corruption Perception Index ranked Pakistan at 117th position out of 180 uh, which is considered pretty shameful for the for the countries who fall very low in this index so Pakistan's 117th position is also not a very good indicator. In other words, we need to control the corruption in our system. And privatization can be another important factor. The government is unable to manage different departments. So sometimes these departments are being privatized and country has the low reserve assets. A number of companies are sold to the foreign investors. And since government uh, cannot run those companies and when they are selling those companies all the employees are also being uh, affected 
because they uh, they lost their jobs and services provided by these companies then become pretty much expensive for the people for uh, and for the citizens of Pakistan because they are the profit earning companies whereas the government is usually uh, uh, applying the policies of non profit basis and as we know that overpopulation is also another significant factor and pakistan has one of the highest population growth rates in south asia which is 2.1 the current population of the country is considered to be more than 200 million people which is uh, the fifth largest population of the world and um, its uh, its growth rate and all these uh, uh, growing populations are pretty much contributing factors for the poverty and since 1947 uh, pakistan's population has tripled so you know the geographic area has not increased the resources has not increased where uh, on the other hand the population is now threefold so you see that uh, how these problems have significantly increased and on uh, to that we are uh, finding uh, some um, some very unproductive trends of population in pakistan one of them is urbanization uh, rather rapid and unplanned uh, uh, urbanization and because of that we see that more and more population is trying to dwell in urban areas as compared to the rural areas and in addition to that we are producing uh, more and more housing societies by uh, by effacing the the agricultural land by wasting the agricultural land so that is also adding to the environmental degradation so all these issues are pretty much contributive to the poverty of pakistan so unemployment is ultimately uh, uh, contributed uh, to uh, all these aspects which is 4.45% uh, it means that a huge chunk of pakistan uh, population is unemployed and it complicates the poverty because if you do not find the adequate opportunities of employment you would ultimately go to the other antisocial activities and by that the crime rate would increase and th this all makes it a vicious cycle of poverty where everything is interrelated to one another so they are continuously uh, cyclically contributing from one factor to another one factor to another and by that the whole poverty cycle uh, goes on and if we need to break the poverty we have to have a holistic approach to address these issues so there are lesser opportunities for youth to utilize or to materialize and if this potential population of youth which is the huge chunk of our population if it is being realized that there are not enough opportunities in pakistan that can become pretty much catastrophic for not only for the population of pakistan but for the situation of poverty as well so other causes also include the worsening of law and order situation as you know the poverty also is the contributive factor to increase the crime rate and low national income um, gdp if gdp is low pakistan's gnp is also low because we have more expo uh, imports as compared to the exports so increase in the utility charges uh, as you can observe that we have uh, a higher uh, rates of electricity higher rates of gas higher rates of water supply nowadays as compared to the past so it means that uh, there is a price hike or inflation and imposition of unjustified taxes as well as low living standards so all these are contributive to the non productive expenditures uh, which means that we are uh, spending more on the luxurious uh, items as compared to being productive or being investing in the uh, in those items which can further lead to generate the capital so backward infrastructure and uh, is also another factor which means that if we do not equip 
our society with the latest available technology or modern infrastructure, we would be lagging far behind than the developed countries. And nepotism and landlord uh, culture is also a contributive factor to poverty because uh, when there is no merit, people are continuously being discouraged from being part of productive activities. They are less likely to be uh, part of the business ph uh, philanthropy as well as uh, of uh, creative opportunities. So landlords are also uh, discouraging the labor population to be more productive by uh, making their work less incentivized. So all these factors are interrelated and if we currently observe uh, poverty, it is because these factors are uh, contributive to the overall situation of poverty in Pakistan.